In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use sum ifs with multiple columns. And I'm going to show two variations of it that will help you use sum ifs with multiple columns faster. So let's get into it. So we have with us this data where we have date souls, website, platform, and visits. As you can notice, there are two different sites available. And the platform that we have is mobile and web. So I have two different columns and I want to summarize the visits based on the website and the platform. To begin with, I'm going to show you how we can use some ifs with just one column. I'm going to use first some ifs here. Now with some ifs, I'm going to take some range as visits. This is what we want a summary of and that's why this is going to go in the first column. Now unlike the some if, the sum range goes towards the end the criteria range and criteria comes here uh, first but in some ifs you have the sum range first and then you have multiple criteria later on so now next we need to select the criteria range so the criteria range is going to be website here and that's the column that i selected and then i will select site one the value that it holds is present here so i'm going to select that So I'm going to select this particular value and now I will have the sum of site one visits in this particular data, right? So if I had to sum up all the rows that have site one in it and sum it up, that would be 75,233. That's the number that we got, right? And so if I drag this formula down, I should be getting the sum of visits for the site two, that is this. Right? And that is 84,292, which is what we got here. Now, if we have to upgrade the same thing or the same formula to two columns, this is how it's going to be done. Right. So if you have, you have the criteria range here and the criteria one here. Now, you just need to say comma and extend that particular criteria. So let's do it again and write for multiple columns. Right. So it's going to be some ifs the sum range is going to be this one here comma and i'm also going to use the criteria range one that is website comma and this time i'm going to give site one as the input right this is the first criteria next i will select the second criteria range this is this is the platform where it contains mobile and web and so now I need to give a second criteria, right? So this is how it goes, guys. Multiple columns, multiple criterias, right? So if you see here, this is basically your criteria range one, and then this is criteria range two, and along with it, the filters or the criteria. If I close this bracket, say enter, I will be getting for mobile site one, 34,770, right? So Basically, if you take all the mobiles for site one here, um, that will be 34,770, which is what we got here. And so if I now copy this down, I will get 40,463 for web visits. And so if I sum up these two, it should be ideally equal to the site one visits here, right? Now next, if I had to do the same formula for site two, it's going to be a simple copy and paste if i just copy and paste this down you'll see the same formula applies but just these values change and that is why i'm able to get these values and the sum total is equal to 84292 which is what we want now next so i told i'll be showing you another simpler example for this and this time it's more like pivoting data right so if i basically insert a pivot table here and expand this a little bit if i take let's say website and platform and say visits so this is how i get the summary now if i change the layout a little bit it's going to be similar to what we saw in the sum of multiple examples here so if i go to the design tab and say subtotals at the bottom of the group and report and insert a blank row report layout more of a tabular form and uh, let's show this at the bottom yeah so this is how you will basically get the summary that we have here if i had to put it in pivot table 
But the way that we are going to modify now is that I'm going to take platforms to the columns area and then you'll see that you get a totally new summary which is much more concise and uh, much more readable along with the grand totals that is available here, right? So this is what we're trying to recreate in the second example. So for the second example, I have the summary placed here where I have site one and two and then mobile and web here. And now I want to get the use some ifs to basically get the value here. So we'll begin by doing something like this. I'll say some ifs. The sum range is going to be visits here, comma, the criteria range is site one here and site two, that is websites, comma. Now this is the tricky part. If I select this, I need to press F4 once, twice and thrice to basically fix the column. So if I copy this cell towards the right hand side, the H will remain H. But then if I copy it down, the seven should be changing to eight. And that's why I fixed only the column in this case. Next, if I select the other criteria range and then select the criteria for platform, it's going to be mobile. So in this case, you have to fix the row. So if I say F4 once and twice, now you notice the row will be fixed. That's because I don't want this criteria to move down but I want it to move right hand side because it needs to change to web, right? So that's how I basically use the sub if function, just change the uh, fixing logic a little bit. And so if I do enter and copy this formula and paste it for all the four cells, you'll see I'll get this summary that I have, which is equivalent to what I have generated here, right? So. These are the two methods of how you can use sum ifs with multiple columns to generate a summary. This is the first summary. This is more like a tabular format where we get this output. And this is more like a cross table format where you get the value and it's much more summarized with grand totals and totals visible much more easily. And to just call it out, you'll see that it's also very similar to how you do things on pivot table. And this is actually what's going on in the background when you're using pivot tables. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.